Have you ever heard of 3D printed housing? Funny you should ask. I was just looking at some right now. <laughs> no, seriously, I have. Um, and it seems really interesting because it looks like you could take the same file that we print here on our 3D printer and hand it to one of these giant 3D printers and it would print the same thing. So you could practice in plastic and then scale up in concrete like these folks are doing. Have you heard of any other uses for 3D printed houses? So right now, NASA and other space-oriented organizations are also considering 3D printing structures on the moon or on Mars. Their dream would be that you could send the robots up to do the printing with materials that are available there. So there's ice on Mars, so you can get water, you can mix it with gravel and sand that's up there and make your own concrete. The robots do their thing and build it, and then when you four astronauts arrive, you can just move in, which would really change it from you having to live in whatever you bring with you you move into what's already built there. So it would be a lot more comfortable, probably safer, um, and reduce the amount of work that the humans have to do because that's what robots are for. So that could be your future when you all go to Mars. <laughs> You're laughing. One of you will end up going probably, so. How do you think 3D printing houses will impact the world? Right now, the goal seems to be to develop 3D printed houses where there's a need for quick construction of new homes for people who've either lost their houses or um, are moving into an area where there aren't enough houses to handle everybody. Uh, so I think that's gonna be the first phase, but I think soon we'll start to see people looking at 3D printing a house as an alternative to traditional construction, no matter what the need is. Maybe they'll print the houses on site where the house will be built, or maybe they'll still 3D print them at a factory and then have them shipped to the build site. But either way, there, this change in construction method then changes the speed with which you could build all or part of a house. 3D printing has been around for almost 40 years now. It is a way in which people can create three-dimensional objects by scratch. The origins of the first 3D printer go back to 1983, when Charles Chagall, a scientist, first came up with the idea. Hall's idea finally came to life in 1986, when the first 3D printer was created. The 3D printers have made many beneficial things, like prosthetic limbs, medical models, household tools, and many others. 3D printing has primarily been used for prototyping products, but as the products got more popular, people started to use it for making finished products. You can pretty much print anything you want with a 3D printer nowadays. People have created all sorts of things with this amazing innovation, but did you ever expect to see a house be 3D printed? Professor Barack Koshnevs of USC's Verda B School of Engineering invented the first method called contour crafting, which began as a novel keramic extrusion and shaping method as an alternative to the merging polymer and metal 3D printing techniques. And as patented in 1995, Joseph Pegna invented one of the two ways to use 3D printing in construction, which was focused on the sand chemectic forming technique which utilized steam to heavily bond the material in layers or solid parts. In 2012, Professor Barrett Koshnevis was the first to propose 3D printed houses. And one year later, in 2013, the first 3D printed house was printed by a Chinese company, Winsun, in under 24 hours. 3D printed houses started to become more frequently produced and visible in our future as technology advanced. It was recognized by our former president, Barack Obama, when he addressed this possibility by stating, 3D printing has the potential to revolutionize the way we make almost everything. 3D printing houses will save lives. There is an estimation of 1 billion people suffering from homelessness in the world today, and organizations are taking their first step to solving that problem. Organizations are 3D printing houses in third world countries such as El Salvador, Iran, and Haiti, 
where they have neighborhoods with heavy populations of poverty. Not only will 3D printed houses provide a shelter for those in need, but it will save the lives of those in the construction industry. Working construction is the most hazardous job in the world, with 400,000 people injured and 6,000 to 10,000 people killed in construction accidents every year in just the U.S. If 3D printers are doing this job, many lives will be spared. 3D printed houses will also stand against natural disasters, according to Professor Barrett Koshnavis. He believes that we could have prevented the loss of life brought about by natural disasters, such as the 40,000 people lost in an earthquake in the state of Iran, if people lived in houses made by 3D printers. They would stay safer in natural disasters because of the stability of the design due to the curved walls. This innovation is showing a lot of progress so far due to its efficiency and low cost. The most prominent company doing so is the nonprofit organization that wants to put a change to global poverty by taking 3D printed construction to the next level. That organization is New Story. New Story has been building houses all over the world to help people. New Story wants to build 100 houses in El Salvador for the homeless and use 3D printing to build the houses. These will cost $4,000 each. What started as an idea became a reality when New Story partnered with a nonprofit organization in Texas called ICON, a technology based organization, who invented the mobile 3D printer they use called the Vulcan. Another project that will use 3D printed construction is a project in Mosul, Iraq. The idea is to 3D print a whole city because it was destroyed in war. Now they want to rebuild Mosul by creating 3D printing robots that recycle and rebuild. The robots will make affordable housing on bridges. This design is called the Five Farming Bridges, designed by Vincent Talbot Architecture. The goal with 3D printing housing is to help solve homelessness in Mosul. 3D printing houses produces zero waste by recycling all the material. The 3D printing robots would be able to print 33 houses per day. This process would be so quick so people could soon have homes. Even NASA has a plan to 3D print houses on Mars. 3D printing has created an easier, more affordable way to help many of the 1 billion people in the world facing homelessness. News Story and Icon have created housing that can be built in only 24 hours for a fraction of the regular housing prices around the world. Along with giving people in need homes for their families, they are able to create jobs for local workers in the communities being created. 3D printed housing is only the beginning on the path to end global poverty.